Hello future engineers, this is part 3 of 2D rigid body equilibrium. So there are vloggers who are who have so many subscribers. It's because especially foreigners because they have very nice accent and their advantage is just the accent. But with regards to the content, I think you can say if my YouTube channel will just be exposed to everybody, even with their subscribers. They can say that this is really the one-stop channel. So I hope that you will share my, my channel, my videos to your friends and to others so that it will also be found and you they can also see the contents. The right angle uniform slender bar AOB has a mass M. If friction at the pivot O is neglected, determine the minimum cylinder mass M1 required to cause loss of contact at A. So this is the figure. So the total mass of this right angle uniform slender bar is M. So therefore, if this length is L over 3, this is only mg over 3. So 2 thirds L, so 2 thirds of mg. This is 1 third of mg and it acts at the center of that uh, uniform bar. Then the tension here is m1g and there are two cables attached so therefore this is m1g over 2. Then for the moment arm, since this is 30 degrees, 2 thirds L sine of 30 is L over T, the whole of this. So it acts at the center. Therefore, if this is L over 3, then it, the distance of this weight from the smooth pin O is L over 6. So these are the support reactions at O. That is L over 6 because this is supposedly 2 thirds L sine 30 or L over 3. So half of L over 3 is L over 6. Likewise, this entire distance is L over 3 cosine 30. This is 30 degrees. Therefore, half of L over 3 cosine 30 is L over 6 cosine 30. So this is L over 6 cosine of 30 degrees. So first, moment O is 0. Summation moment O is 0 or moment at O is 0 considering clockwise positive so we have m1g over 2 times l over 3 cosine 30 because half distance is l over 6 cosine 30 the whole horizontal distance horizontal projection is l over 3 cosine 30 i hope that you know that double this distance here then plus mg over 3 times l over 6 cosine 30 Then minus 2 thirds mg times L over 6. So let's cancel out GL over 6. It's common to all terms. So 0 equals m1g or m1. Then cosine 30 is square root of 3 over 2. After we Cancel GL over 6. This is M over 3. Then M over 3. Then cosine 30 is square root of 3 over 2. Then this is 2 thirds of M left because we cancelled GL over 6. So combining these two values, 0 equals 0.866 M1. And this value here is minus 0.378 M. Finally, we get M1 equals... 0.4365 of M. Level 22 problem. The 90 kilogram man whose center of gravity is at G is climbing a uniform ladder. The length of the ladder is 5 meters and, is, and its mass is 20 kilograms. Friction may be neglected. Part A, compute the magnitude of the reactions at A and B for X equals 1.5 meters. Then part B, Find the distance x for which the ladder will be ready to fall. So first, let's compute for the angles and 
distances here. So this is the weight of the 90 kilogram man. 90 times 9.81 is 882.9 newtons. And take note that this is NB. Friction is neglected, so NB normal to the ladder at right angles. So this angle of inclination here is also the angle here. So th these are the component reactions at A, vertical, horizontal and vertical reactions, AH and AV. Then this distance is 2 meters, square root of 1.6 square plus 1.2 square. The angle here is arctan of 1.2 over 1.6, so 36.87 degrees. This is also the angle between the normal and the vertical is also 36.87 degrees by principle. Then the weight of the ladder is 20 times 9.81. It acts at the center 2.5 from either end, then 2.5 cosine of 36.87 degrees is 2 meters. So this, that's why this is 2 meters. Then that's also 36.87. So first moment at A is 0. Moment of the resultant should be 0 about A. Or about any point. So considering clockwise positive, so we have NB times 2 meters because that's the perpendicular distance to A. Then minus 882.9 times X which is 1.5 minus 196.2 times 2. Then from there we can solve for NB. NB equals 858.4 newtons. Then for the reactions at A, we need AH and AV. So first we have R horizontal equals 0. So NB, which is 858.4 rightward, so time sign of 36.87 degrees, then minus AH. Then from there, we can solve AH. So AH equals 515 newtons leftward. Then R vertical equals 0, the vertical component of the resultant is 0. So it is NB cosine of 36 AV plus, plus NB 858.4 cosine of 36.87 degrees minus 882.9 minus 196.2. So from there, AV can now be computed equal to 392.4 newtons. Then the magnitude of the resultant at A Resultant reactions at A would be square root of 515 square plus 392.4 square. So RA is 647.5 newtons. Then for part B, the distance X which for which the ladder will be ready to fall, the ladder will be ready to fall when there, it loses contact or vertical contact at A. But there is still horizontal contact. Anyway, friction is negligible. So the idea, therefore, is AV is 0 for part B. So if AV is 0, then NB will increase. We will call this NB prime. So our vertical will still be 0, but it's about to fall. But that's uh, impending motion. So RV is 0 equals NB prime vertical component. This is now NB prime. It will not be equal to NB anymore because the concept is AV is 0. Then minus 82.9 minus 196.2. So RV or NB prime would be 1246 newtons. And finally, to solve for X, we set moment at A0. And we have NB prime. Uh, 82.9 times 6, so counterclockwise this time positive, plus 196.2 times 2, then minus uh, NB prime times 2, then plus 196.2 times 2. So counterclockwise positive. So solving for X, X is 2.378 meters. So that's it for this problem. Determine the maximum tension that can be developed in cable AB if the maximum allowable value of the reaction at C is 250 pounds. So this is the given figure. Then let's call the tension in AB as T. 
and the magnitude allowable value of the reaction at C magnitude is 250 pounds. So this distance is 7 sine 30 degrees and this is the magnitude of the reaction at C limited to 250 pounds. And this is equal to the square root of tension square plus P square, the components of that reaction. So MC is 0. So we have T sine 60, 7, T times 7 sine 60, clockwise positive, then minus P times 15. So from there, we can express P in terms of the tension. So P is 0.4041 of T. Then having expressed P in terms of T, then we have 250 square equals T square plus P square. So T square plus P square equals 250 square, substituting the value of P in terms of T. So T square plus 0.4041 T quantity square equals 250 square. So from there, we can now solve for T. The value of T is, using your calculator, is 231.8 pounds. A 700 Newton axial force is required to remove the pulley from each shaft. What force F must be exerted on the handle of each of the two pry bars? Friction at the contact points B and E is sufficient to prevent slipping. Friction at the pulley contact point C and F is negligible. So this is the figure. The total axial force required is 700 Newton. So if we only analyze one pry bar, then it will be half of 700 as shown in the figure. So 750, that's the contact that will develop here to remove the pulley from its shaft. Then at E, we have friction resistance at, at F. There's no friction. So the reaction at E should be inclined as shown. Then F here has two components, horizontal and vertical. So if we sum up moment about F equals zero or moment F is zero, and we can solve for this F here. So considering counterclockwise positive, let's begin with the horizontal component. Moment of the horizontal component is counterclockwise F cosine 5 degrees times 250 mm. Then the vertical component is also counterclockwise about E. So plus F sine of 5 degrees times 31 mm. Then minus 350 times 38 mm. Then that's all. So from there, we can solve for F350 times 38 divided by quantity 250 cosine 5 plus 31 sine of 5. So F is equal to 52.83 newtons. The tensioning mechanism of a magnetic tape drive of mass 0.4 kilogram and its center of gravity is at G. The tension T in the tape is maintained by presenting the tensile force in the spring at B to 14 newtons. Calculate T and the magnitude of the pin reaction at A. So let's apply the weight 0.4 times 9.81, 3.924. So I just put the value right away. Tension in the spring is 14 newtons. Then reactions at A horizontal and vertical. So the horizontal reaction is T. If you, if you set R horizontal zero, so this is T also, rightward equals leftward. The vertical reaction is downward and it is T plus 14 minus 3.924. So the net vertical reaction at A is T plus 10.076. Again, this is supposedly T plus 14 minus 3.924. So 14 minus 3.924 is 10.076. So that's, these are the expected reaction components at A. So to solve for T, we set moment A zero. And considering clockwise positive, so we have T times 120 plus 3.924 times 80 minus 14, minus T times 20 
minus 14 times 120. And that's it. So from here, we can now solve 40. 14 times 120 minus 3.924 times 80 divided by 100 because 120 minus 20 is 100. So T is 13.66 newtons. Then for the magnitude of the pin reaction at A, it is square root of T square plus quantity T plus 10.076 square. Square root of 13.66 square plus quantity 13.66 plus 10.076 square. So RA is equal to 27.39 newtons. The asymmetric simple truss is loaded as shown. Determine the reactions at A and D. Neglect weight of the structure compared with the applied loads. Is knowledge of the size of the structure necessary? So let's look at the figure since given the givens are angles. This is an equilateral triangle and we drop perpendicular to it and this is parallel to this. So therefore, Whatever is the length of this side is also this side here. So knowledge of the size of the structure is not necessary here. We just set dimensions, let's say B. This is also B, B, B. So B times sine of 30 because that's 90 degrees here. 30 plus 60 is 90, so that's 90. Hypotenuse sine of 30 is B over 2 or 0.5B. Then let's call the reaction at A as RA because that's a rocker only one support reactions and the direction is known perpendicular to the surface at D we have DX and DY so to solve for RA we set moment D zero so clockwise positive we have RA times 2B minus L the load times 2B minus L times, this is B plus 0.5B, so 1.5B, minus this one, L, this distance is 0.5B sine of 60 degrees, hypotenuse sine of 60 degrees, so minus L times 0.5B sine of 60 degrees, and this one, moment arm zero, so that's it, then cancel B, Solving for RA in terms of L, RA is one is 1.967 of L upward. Then we set RX zero. So DX, so that is equal to DX minus L. So DX is L. And finally set MA equal zero. So DY times 2B. Counterclockwise positive plus L times 0.5B sine 60, this one. And minus L times 0.5B, this L here, minus L times 2B. So that's it. Then cancel out B, express dy in terms of L. L is, dy is 1.033L. So let's have uh, checking. Uh, RV is not yet used, so RV is 0. 1.967L plus 1.033L is 3L. Then minus L minus L minus L, that is 0. So that checks our solution. Rad AB is hinged at A and attached at B to cable BD. Supports the load shown. Knowing that D is 150 mm, determine A, the tension in cable BD, the reaction at A. So this is a given figure for the solution. Let's denote the tension in BD as T. The angle it makes with the vertical is R tan of, if this is 150 mm, this is 300 mm, so meaning to say this distance is 150 mm. R tan of 150 over 100, so calculate using your calculator there i'll just put the display the angle here arctan of 150 mm over 100 is 56.31 degrees by principle of transmissibility i can transfer t here these are the components t cosine 56.31 degrees 
and the horizontal component is T sine 56.31 degrees. And the action components at A are A vertical and A horizontal to the right. So first, to solve for T, we set moment A0. Then, considering counterclockwise positive, we have T cosine 56.31. We cancel out T. It is replaced by its components. So T cosine 56.31 times D, which is 150 mm. Then minus 90 times 100, minus 90 times 200. So T can now be computed. T is equal to 3 to 4.5 newtons. Reaction at A, set A hor horizontal equal 0. So we have EH minus T sine 56.31. So minus 3 to 4.5 sine of 56.31 degrees. So AH is equal to 270 newtons rightward. R vertical equal 0. So we have equals A vertical plus T cosine plus 3 to 4.5 cosine of 56.31 minus 90. Then minus 90 equals 0. So A vertical is 0. Therefore, reaction at A is 270 newtons rightward because A vertical is 0. And that's it. The homogeneous 18 kilogram pulley is attached to the bar ABC with a pin at B. The mass of the bar is negligible. The cable running over the pulley carries a tension of 600 newtons. So determine the magnitudes of the support reactions at A and C. So by principle, we have a frictionless pulley here. We remove these forces and transfer it to the center. So we have 600 rightward, and since the mass of the homogeneous pulley is 18 kilograms, then plus 600 newtons, so I'll directly put the weight of the pulley plus these 600 newtons here at the center B. This is 600 plus 18 times 9.81 is 776.58 newtons. Then reaction at A, perpendicular to the inclined surface, Horizontal reaction at C, vertical reaction at C, then reaction at A, which is normal to this bar. Therefore, the angle that RA makes with the vertical is also 40 degrees. So that's it. To solve for RA, we set moment at C0 or moment at A0 first. To solve for moment at C0. So we have RA sine of 40 degrees, the horizontal component, is clockwise, considering clockwise positive. So RA sine of 40, horizontal, the moment arm is 96. The vertical component is clockwise also. So plus RA cosine of 40 degrees, the moment arm is 240 plus 240, so 480. Then minus 776.58 times 240. 600 passes through C, so it has no moment. Therefore, we cannot solve RA. So RA is equal to 44.0 newtons. Then, R horizontal equals 0. The horizontal component of RA is RA sine of 40. So 44 sine of 40 plus 600 rightward. Then minus CH, then CH is equal to 879.0 newtons leftward. R vertical equals 0. So RA cosine 40, 44 cosine of 40 minus 776.58 plus C sub V. Then C sub V can now be computed. 444.1 newton. So let's check. Uh, the equation that we haven't yet used is moment A0. Moment A, let's check if it is 0. So we have uh, clockwise positive, so 776.58 times 240. Then plus CH 
clockwise also CH is 879 times 96 then minus 600 times 96 minus CV 441.1 times 480 so this should be very small or close to zero negative 4.8 newton mm is very small that's very small because 776.58 that's thousands almost compared 4.8 to these thousands all hundred thousands for a delta so that's very very small if you express it to newton meter so this is almost zero so that's why it checks our answer so we can now compute the magnitude of reaction at sea square root of 879 square plus 441 444.1 square checking is not important but i want you to routinely do it in your solution so that you you are guaranteed of your answers so our sub c is 984.8 newtons the uniform slender bar of length 3R and mass M rests against the circular surface as shown. Determine the normal force at the contact point C and the magnitude of the ideal 5 volt reaction at O. So here is the given figure. Let's have the normal reaction at C which passes through the center. So this angle is 30 degrees. If you draw a line from center to the point perpendicular to this bar here, that's the radial line. So it is R, hypotenuse is 2R, so arc sine of opposite R over hypotenuse 2R is arc sine of 1 half, so that's why it's 30 degrees. So this is the normal to C, perpendicular to it. And of course, this distance from O to this point perpendicular to the contact point is 2R cosine 30, so that is square root of 3r or r square root of 3 again 2r cosine of 30 is r square root of 3 then the center of gravity is here where the weight acts mg 1.5 of r or half of 3r from o from either end so if this is 1.5 r this distance is 1.5 r sine 30 so 0.75 r so this is 0.75 r again 0.75 r is from o to center of gravity of the uniform bar half of 3 r 1.5 r hypotenuse then times sine of 30 so 0.75 r and that's horizontal reaction at the vertical reaction at the so set mo0 to solve for nc considering clockwise positive so nc times r square root of 3 minus mg times 0.75 r so those are the only equations involved so we can solve nc and sub c exactly is square root of 3 mg over 4 then r horizontal equals 0 so oh and minus the horizontal component of nc by principle, if that's 30 degrees, the angle of inclination of NC is also 30 degrees. So the horizontal component of NC to the left is NC cosine of 30. So minus square root of 3 mg over 4 cosine of 30. So solving for OH, 3 mg over 8 exactly, and that is right toward. Then over R vertical equals 0. So, o vertical plus vertical component of NC is NC sine of 30. So, quantity square root of 3 mg over 4 times sine 30, which is 1 half. Then minus mg. So, this time we cannot express it exactly. So, that's why we express it in decimal form. O vertical is 0.7835 of mg upward. Finally, the magnitude of the reaction at O, ideal 5 volt reaction at O, so meaning to say frictionless square root of quantity 3 mg over 8 square plus 0.7835 mg quantity square. So just evaluate the numerical values uh,
express it in, in terms of mg. So RO is equal to 0.8686 of mg. The homogeneous 600 pound plate is suspended from three cables. Determine the force in each cable. So here is the given figure. Let's divide it into two known areas, namely rectangle and triangle, as shown. So for the rectangular part, the area is 5 times 1.5, so 7.5 square feet. For the triangular part, the area is 0 0.5 or 1 half of 5 times, this is 1 foot, 2.5 minus 1.5. So area of triangle is 0 0.5 or 1 half of 5 times 1, so 2.5 square feet. The total area therefore is 10. Then we now obtain the weight of the rectangle by proportion. So 600 pounds as to 10 square feet equals weight of rectangle as to 7.5 square feet. So the weight of the rectangular part is 450 pounds. Therefore, the remaining 600 minus 450, 150 is the weight of the triangular part. So that 450 acts at the center. 2.5 from either end, 2.5 feet. And 150 is one third of 5 from the left end. So that's 5 over 3 feet, that's 2.5, 2.5 also. For the angle, this is arctan of 1.5 over 2 plus 2.5. Arctan of 1.5 over 4.5. Let's call it tension A, tension B, tension C. For this angle, 18.435 degrees, arctan of 1.5 over 2 plus 2.5 or 4.5. Arctan of 1.5 over 4.5 is 18.45 degrees. This angle and this angle from the vertical are the same. These angles. Arctan of 1.5 over 2 is 36.87. This is also 36.87, but I will not show it anymore. So to solve for tension at C, which is the first thing that can be solved, we set moment 1, 0. Call that one, this point 2. And by principle of transmissibility of a force, we can move tension C here. The components are vertical T cosine of 36.87. So M1 equals 0. So we have T cosine of 36.87 times 8. Y8 because I move T sub C here. It has two components so that the horizontal component will pass through 1. Times 8. 1.5 plus 5 plus 1.5 then minus 450 times quantity 1.5 plus 2.5 then minus 150 times quantity 1.5 plus 5 thirds so from there we can solve t sub c so again only the vertical component of t sub c is involved because you have to imagine that i move it to two there are two components vertical and the horizontal, the horizontal component passes through one, so it has, it is not involved in this equation. So T sub C is equal to 355.5 pounds. Then, R horizontal equals zero. So we have 355.5 sine of 36.87 minus TA sine of 18.435 then minus T sub B sine of 36.87. So simplifying, T sub A sine 18.435 degrees plus 0.6 T sub B equals 355.5 sine 36.87 is 213.3. Call that equation one. R vertical, vertical component of resultant zero. So we have 355 or let's begin with the A. T sub A cosine 18.45 degrees plus T sub B cosine of 36.87 degrees plus 355.5 cosine of 36.87 then minus 450 or minus 600, the two. So simplifying T sub A cosine 18.45 plus 0.8 T sub B equals 600 minus 355.5 cosine 36.7 is 315.6 pounds. 
Solving equations 1 and 2 simultaneously by elimination, substitution, or whatever method you want to use for convenience, in your convenience. So we get TA equals 59.2 pounds and tension at B, 324.3 pounds. So that's it for this part.